Uh, this is Pia Drew, and uh, today we're going to go over how to transform the Yamato 160th SV51, in this case the Ivanov. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to release the arms and fold the flaps down. Just going to pull the arm out. Going to disengage this wing here, little tab there. Just rotate the whole thing down and up. Do the same thing over here. Arms out of the way. Guitar pick's good for this or any piece of plastic. Not a good idea to pry with metal if you can avoid it. Just going to pop up these these kneecaps, if you will. What I'm going to do is pull the legs out a little bit, rotate down, and now we have to free the hips up a little bit. Keep in mind that the, the arms will be constraining the legs a little bit. Once we get the legs free, it should work out okay. There's a joint here, so we're just going to pull this whole this whole flap down. We're going to rotate the legs around. And pull the feet out. Fan out the toes. Start working on the upper body now. I'm going to open up the landing gear doors. There's a, a tab right there. We're going to depress that. And then the nose folds neatly into that space. Like that. Start working on this upper body here. Just going to rotate this whole section. And this flap here folds down. We rotate the whole section forward, and then that flap can go into place. We're going to work on the shoulders. They start out like this when you're in fighter mode. So what we're going to do is rotate that whole segment back. So just get a good grip on this metal piece and kind of rotate it back. Hold it there, and then this folds down kind of a little bit underneath the joint there. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Fold it down. Now this part, there's a little tab. We flip that out and we insert it into the socket. Just like that. And it pops up. And we pop it back in. Okay. We're getting close to the end here. Back him up a little bit so that we can see what's going on. He can be a little unwieldy, a little hard to stand because he's so he's so thin. The hip joints seem a little weak. So we're going to rotate the arms and just lower them down. And pull out the hands and fingers. The head, we just pull it out of its socket. It's got a long flap. And what we're looking to do is just, the head used to be rotated like this, so now we're just going to have it be like that instead. It just kind of sits right there. And so we wrap up the posing. Also, the wings stow. There's a locking mechanism right here. That allows 
cause the wing to fold over a little bit. And generally the wings just kind of fold up and over until they're mostly out of the way. Same thing over here. A little locking mechanism. They fold the wings up and out of the way. So that is roughly it. We now have a Batroid mode, which we can just about stand up. There's our completed Batroid.